Good morning and welcome to Jack's Main Studio Live number 52, 52. Buongiorno, Chax. Buongiorno, good morning. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Do you see? Magandang araw. That's Philip. That's in Tagalog. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we got we got it all. We all all the languages that that. Yeah, just to remind everybody, uh, they maybe watch this on YouTube, we are working on the prototype of a, of a sailing game based on uh, racing or foiling um, boats and catamarans, but we will also have a, a more traditional sailboat. It's just the two of us, so super small team, independent project, um, as independent as it gets, um, really. So... How does it feel to be the owner of a sailboat? Cool. How do you feel? Very cool. Right. But, you know, clueless at the same time. We have to learn. We have a lot to learn. We have so yes. many things to learn. Yeah. Yes, we did last we signed this weekend. We did last, last weekend. Saturday. Yeah. Last Saturday, we went to sign boat for the boat and the marina something important that i want to say i also put it in the in the faq is that i think it's something important for people that maybe consider subscribing to to the channel on twitch um, as we are moving on the boat um, for the streams we are going to have to rely to I, i'm installing two systems on the boat i'm installing a booster antenna for 4g and a booster antenna for Wi-Fi. Um, so I have a sort of redundancy I can and I can um, switch if necessary to whatever works uh, the best in the place where we are. Uh, but the truth is that I have no idea if, if we will be able to actually stream in real time um, from, um, on Twitch uh, from the boat. Hopefully we hope so and we're going to try as soon we we move there which is hopefully by the end in in the netherlands um marinas uh, actually need to shut the water on the jetties uh, down in the winter time so be, to avoid uh, the water to freeze in the in the pipelines right so they they close it uh, so that's going to be interesting we're not going to have water uh, easily accessible so I will have to go back and forth and bring water. And that's on a boat, it's really water for, not only water for drinking, but also water for shower. So I think we're gonna take less showers. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take less uh, showers. Yes, Jensen, the cats are coming with us. Yeah, the cats are coming with us. And cats, cats for me are, are the other thing that in this period is keeping me you know, not sleeping very well because, of course, I'm super worried um, about the cats. Uh, we joined a Facebook group um, of of sailors that have cats aboard. So, um, suggestion: Chuck's found uh, an interesting system that automatically <laughs> alerts uh, if if uh, basically it's like a bracelet, and if the bracelet goes in the water it sends an alarm to a mobile phone. So our plan is to actually attach the bracelet to the cats. So if the cats fall into the water. Uh, Programmers shower less phone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, I mean, if you if you're watching this and you are uh, planning to subscribe, just know that uh, we might we might end up um, um, not be able to to stream. So, um, what's your plan today? What are you going to do? Uh, should we tell them about also we have the YouTube channel for now? Yes, we created the new YouTube channel um, that is called Sailing Jack's Vein. There is nothing right now yeah, up but there, but we are going to to upload. Vlog. How you call it? V vlog. V vlog. Vlog. I think vlog. Yeah, so our experience in, in learning the boat and, and yeah. Living on the boat. Doing, so it's yeah. going to be a little bit more um, boat oriented. 
Uh, but of course, of course, it's going to sort of cross over to what we are doing in the game. We're also going to model our boat in the game. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm is... so excited with that because it's the first time that I model something and then I can really see everything, like how, how it looks like. I can really have a very good reference. No? Yeah, I'm thinking actually one of the things that could be interesting because um, with the sailboat, of course, there is the sailing element, but there is also the element of learning how to uh, motor the boat, uh, especially around the marina. So I, w I was thinking to do like uh, like a spin off where, you know, you 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 could, um, you know, like a, a trainer uh, simulator where you could learn how to motor a catamaran around the marina and do things like uh, dock. Um, so simulate where you attach the lines and all those things that could be interesting. Uh, actually, I saw yesterday that Arial, Arial Engine is coming out with a new version and they have a new uh, water rendering system. Um, well, right now we don't have anything on YouTube. Yeah. I think we should put those GoPro that we took we should edit those GoPro yeah. that we took on the test sailing yeah. yeah, and start to put stuff on those, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the logo. I, I already did it, but I have to change the color so to put on the boat. <laughs> yeah, so. We're gonna put uh, the logo on the boat. Yeah, so it's going to be like the boat, the one boat, color, yeah. right? Okay, like our, our logo looks very, looks like a pirate. Yeah, I really don't know. Um, it's it's weird that it's weird to have a sailboat with uh, with a pirate on it. Maybe we take the swords out. Where is it? Yeah, we could leave just the just the cat. Yeah. So the this one, the bandana, I have to make it black. Yeah. And also this, the 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 red eyes. Yeah. I have to make it black. A white. Yeah, I think you you do it white. You, you either do a white outline and black inside and see how it looks. Okay. Uh, definitely, I have to put to take the swords out, no? Yeah, it looks I think. Too I, piratey. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared that people believe we are pirates or something like that. We are going to start with uh, rather pitch control. Um, so we did rather differential last time, and it was amazing. You know, it just uh, I, I was I was uh, doing some experiments uh, also on Saturday morning and, and Friday afternoon, and it really opened up such a huge um, range of possibility because you know now the boats are super fast, like too fast. But that's something that. I can concentrate later um, and try to gather the data of the speed that we want to do and try to match those as, as close as possible. It's going to be a learning experience. Right now, I'm just pushing on, on, the, on having this stuff in the physics without obsessing too much um, with, with, with uh, data matching um, the, the values. But, you know, so rather differential was a, was a, was a game changer. Um, again, what, what rather differential is, um, I'll try to explain it again, that what is happening on, on a boat, especially on, on a catamaran, is that because the wind is hitting the sail and the sail is high um, over the water, and the, the wind is creating mostly side, sideways force. So it's, it's a force that is sideways from the boat. And this force is, is trying to capsize the, the boat. So this is what the physics is doing, right? And we can see that physics is doing this green line is the force of our mainsail. And we can see that it's pointing that way. So it's trying to push our catamaran like this. This is the force from our small sail in the front, from the jib in the front, and it's doing the same thing. It's also pushing that way, 
Uh, on the top of that, uh, we have the reaction force from the, the foils that are in the water and they're all pulling on the other side. But because they are below the water, they also are an additional torque that is... So all the forces that we're seeing here right now, they're all trying to capsize the boat. But then what we see is these two lines, this one and this one, right? And they are coming from the rudders. And we can see that we have one rudder, this rudder, pushing up, trying to lift that part of the boat. And we can see that this other rudder is actually pushing down. Right? The foil is right. So the effect of this is, so we have this, this, and this trying to rotate the, the boat like this. And this and this trying to rotate the boat from the other, to the other side, right? So the eff what is happening, the, the effect of this is that the result of this is that we can actually get more force on the, on the sail and more force on the sail, the trick, the entire trick of the sailboat is that all this lateral force uh, on sailboats is lost. It's not doing anything other than try to capsize us. So this force, lateral force is lost. This is lost. This is lost, but the sail force, we can see it here, has a tiny, You can see it right here. You can see that the sail force is also a tiny component going forward, right? So what is going to happen on a boat is that the lateral components of the force are canceled out. So this goes this way, the, the, the foils or the keel of the boat will push that way. So they will cancel out and all we are left with is the forward, this forward element of the sail. So obviously, if we can create more force on the sail, so imagine this vector longer, right? We create more force going forward and we go faster, right? And the reason why we couldn't do that is because the catamaran was, was capsizing. So another, another way to look at this and, and really see the effect start to roll on the left, right? So here we go. This is, this is the effect, right? So, at this point, this is the amount of sail that I can use, but our catamaran is already heavily, heavily rolled. So we can see it from here. So we are already with a rudder out of the water, which is not a problem. So we're basically running only on this couple of foils. Yeah, we're totally rolled. We are losing a lot of power because now our sail force is pointing down in the water, so we are losing a lot of power there. Right, so now we are in a fairly stable sail at 28 knots with no rudder differential, and that's the, the amount of power my sail can take. Now, rudder differential on, and I can add more power and we're going way faster look at that look how much faster we're going right and the reason as i was saying is because now the boat can take way more power and reach already speeds that are a little bit too high considering the the condition of the weather right so that's where we are with the rudder differential now what i want to do today coming back to this, is add, there, add also a pitch control. Now, right now we have the foils that are pretty much zero, zero, the, 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 the foil at the back. So if you look at the game and you look at the America's Cup boat or the CGP boat uh, uh, foiling, also the new America's Cup boat, you will see that in our game, Right now, the, the, the front of the boat tend to pitch up a lot, right? So we tend to have this kind of... That the, the boat in the game is, is pretty much 
parallel to the water, right? Because that's that's what the physics is doing. These rudders are trying to keep the boat at zero, right? So they they are trying to keep the boat flat. But if you if you watch Sail GP or America's Cup, you will notice that the boat actually are slightly pitched down. Now. I observe that I still don't understand why they they prefer to pitch down, um, but right now we cannot do that. We don't have the controls to do that, right? So that's what I'm going to add today, the ability for the boat. So we will be able to set the rudder differential, but also the overall pitch down uh, or pitch up, if somebody wants, of the of the rudder, so we can control how the boat wants to sit in the water with, with pitch wants to sit in the water. I no, used it one time. The, the guy is saying thinks he's a lion. Ah. <laughs> and he's not really a lion. You, you should show who... It's this one. He's there, he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it will. I don't know if you can see. Jacko, do ah. Do meow. Maybe. No? <laughs> Because if we want to do a cascade of controllers, then we also need to put the value at zero at the beginning. So we will have to do two passes through all the controllers, set all the foils that are influenced by a controller to zero, and then do the second pass, where instead of doing equal, instead of doing equal, So this is the value. So in the destination, we do a plus. So that one way. Right, so i think this is something that can i can get away with this faster so what we're going to do is instead of rather differential here we're going to have two possible things so rather foil left and rather foil right okay so now we have this new value here i cannot really read it very well but let's see how it works okay so in this case we have one nine and zero one in this case with three seven okay because we have our pitches it's very cool this multiple setup because i can do one test right Okay, so let's test it. So I'm going to test like this to check that the rudder differential is still working correctly left and right. Then I'm going to test this. So rudder pitch minus two. So our boat, I have, again, I have to find the, the right signs. So our boat with other pitch down two degrees or pitch up two degrees. So <laughs> we will see, we will see what is what. Okay, falling with plus two. Very hard to say. Pause. I hear jacks. Okay, that looks to me like it's pitching up for sure. External camera that can follow the the boat. So, pam, and then the boat is pitching down. Perfect. Look at that. So beautiful. 
Now the question for me remains, I mean, why would they want, why would they want to pitch down? Why would they ever want to pitch down? That's that part. I still don't get it. I don't understand why they prefer to pitch down. The nose down attitude reduced drugs in two ways. Less of, of a rudder is in the water. That's true. That's true. So you can imagine the rudder at the back if, if, if I take, but doesn't make sense to me because no, it does make sense. So ra less rudder at the back. So as long you're staying at the same height for the front foil, rest rather at the back in the water means less drag. The bow speed is structure point about 25 up. By sailing nose down, aero drag is reduced. Look at that. Why? Why, why is reduced? <laughs> why aero drag is reduced? Why? I mean, you could just design the boat in a way. They 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 are free to design the boat as they want. No, I think in Bermuda, they had all the same design. I'm not sure. Okay, the, the aero drag to me doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not that it doesn't make any sense. It's just they decided to 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 design the boat that way, and I think they designed to the the boat to. So they they knew already that they wanted the boat to pitch down because they wanted less rudders in the water, and they make sense. And then they designed the. And then they design the, the, the aero to. Two point half degrees up. When the AC class cut is in a neutral for aft attitude. I really don't understand. <laughs> the bow spirit structure. What the fuck is that? What the hell is this? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so what he's saying is that this thing points up two degrees and a half when the boat is level. Right? <laughs> so I think that's what that's what they're saying. And the funny thing he also he complains for you no know, when you try to <laughs> to put him in let him in come back he gets he gets angry he complains and then every time when we when we go somewhere every time we come back Jax is always always at the door waiting Konosh is not Konosh really doesn't care. Come on, come on, stay down. Stay down. It just wants to fly up. All right. I'm completely outside the boundaries.
Yeah, the boat already finished, so way slower. Right, I think this works. I think this guy works. So rather pitch control did it, and I think I'm gonna call it a day. How are we doing there? Logo no. side. I, I can't find the font. Oh. You cannot Is find the font, but right? what do you think about this? This is how I was thinking about it. It's all right. It's okay. Can you make the, the logo smaller? I think it's cute like this. Yeah? I think it's cute. Winter and it gets to zero or close to zero. How many gallons of water the, the capacity of that boat for? Gallons is a stupid unit that ah. all the American use. So civilized people use liters. Liters. And we have, I think, 430, 430 liters. Oh my God, so that's a lot water. of money. Are you talking about fuel? Yeah. Yeah, I think something like that, 400. So yeah, it's lots of money. So if we want to fill up the, the entire boat, it's going to be something like 700 euro. <laughs> 700 euro. Fill it up, mate! <laughs> but how far can you sail with that? If you use the motor? F forever. Yeah? If you sail, you don't you use the motor. You can cross continents? If you, if, you do, if you sail, you don't use the motor. You use the sail? Okay. You don't use the engine, so you don't use any fuel. That's the entire point. Uh, if there's no wind, we're fucked, no? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. With sailing, if there is no wind, you wait for the wind. No. Yeah. That's really? How it works. So you, you're get, we're, you're, we're gonna be stuck in the middle of the sea. Yeah, and you wait. You know, like in. Uh, yeah, because that's master, what they say. No, master and commander, no? Yeah. Master and commander, they 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 get caught in a. Also, black sails. There is remember there is the part where there is no no wind. Yeah. And they go very very slow, and they have to wait for the wind. Of course, I mean, if we, if you are in a hurry and you have fuel, you turn on the yeah, engine and you go. Yeah, but that's what also people say, no? Like, if you are in a hurry or you care so much, you know, how, how fast you can go in that, from this place to that place, they say that sailing is really not for you. Yeah, yeah. Then, so, take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy and sing. Uh, because I'm really scared. Uh, Chucks doesn't like cold, right? So, I'm really scared we get to the boat and, and realize that once the the weather gets really cold the heater won't be able to to heat up the boat or in order to heat up the boat it will start consuming five liters of fuel per hour and we will be broke <laughs> and we will be broke in like two months right <laughs> um and that that would be one of the situations where where I can see Chuck saying, I can't, I can't do it. I cannot survive. You know, it's too cold. Let's go home and think about this next spring. But that's the thing, you know, it's like, because that's the thing in the future, if we're really confident enough to sail for, that's the thing. When it's when winter here, we just go south, no? Yeah, that's somewhere the, warm. That's that's the idea. That's the so idea. So we don't really need maybe the heater. Yeah. So the idea is to stay in the Netherlands for maybe a couple of years. Yeah, just to to get familiar with uh, uh, yeah with the boat and confident enough that we can sail the North Sea. Two years is too long, for. Huh? Well, we cannot live in winter, so for sure we have to spend next summer trying to sail as much as possible. Yeah. In the lake. And my uh, my really goal is Sardinia. Chucks wants to go to Sardinia. I want to sail to Italy. It's the perfect place. Nice weather and the food. Oh my lord. <laughs> so that's uh, that's all from us today. So the appointments for the next streams is going to be with me tomorrow morning. Assetto Corsa Competizione, I forgot what I have to do in Assetto Corsa Competizione, but you know, we are having a lot of fun <laughs> doing Assetto Corsa Competizione streams, um, trying to improve the AI. So that's uh, the appointment with me um, tomorrow. And me and Chucks will be back on next, next Wednesday. 
um, with the sailing game again. As usual, if you watch this on YouTube, uh, you can come and, and join the stream live uh, on Twitch if you want, or you can um, hopefully like and subscribe on YouTube. But as usual, the best thing you can do for us is really to uh, share this on this video on your social media so as many people as possible know that you know there in the future there's going to be a sailing simulator game on pc that uh, if people are passionate about sailing will be able to to use and race together have a great day guys we'll see you next time ciao ciao ciao, ciao. ciao, ciao guys thank you for watching